the commercialism while it's frowned upon here at the abc the commercial news media needs to make a profit except for me but the methods they use to make money are changing fast like autoplay video ads online these are so advanced they can even complement the story they're attached to like the way the age paid tribute on the day of the tragic death of idol judge jd springbet some motors you can't ignore that's how I hope to be remembered. Meanwhile, on TV, they've taken things one step further with product integration. What a better place to interview a family whose baby almost died... Well, I'm glad that she's OK and you've come through. And I know the family's here. ...than in a McCafe. Good morning, guys. They've done well. There's uh, me as Dad Ben. The McCafe is the new news desk. Just ask Larry McEmder, the Aussie record holder for the world's hottest chili. Of course, Sunrise isn't the only show to build a McCafe into their set. Die, you prostitute bitch. Your coffee, sir. Thank you. The trick with product integration is to hide it so the viewer doesn't even realise the product's there. Look, you may or may not be wondering why we're in bed. A core is celebrating 20 years in Australia, and this is one of their beds. Now, a lot has happened in the last 20 years, much of it in a core hotels. Couldn't spot the product? Well, see if you can work out which company paid for this weather report. We are here at Queen's Park this morning at the Muffin Break Marquee. They've got choc chip, mmm, apple cinnamon. Mmm, blueberry. And we got the band back together. The Muffin Man is here, everyone. Say good morning. Have you seen the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Have you seen the Muffin Man? He lives on Jury Lane. Yes, indeed, he does. To be fair to weatherman Steve Jacobs, he was referring to the actual weather that day. But promos are far too important for weather reports. That's why they belong smack bang in the middle of the daily news. And a big week, a very big week coming up. Indeed, because some of the country's best renovators have been recruited to transform property nightmares into real estate gold. The renovators is being described as groundbreaking and a must see for all homeowners. What sets this one apart? It's just bigger and better than anything you've ever seen before. And what sets this cross promotion apart? It's just bigger and better than anything you've ever seen before. No, it's not, because I saw 10 News make the host of Young Talent Time an honorary reporter. Here at the YTT auditions, we're not just looking for solo singers and dancers. No, no, no. We're off to Melbourne next. Don't forget to keep in contact with us on Facebook and Twitter and the website. See you soon, Melbourne. Coming after you. Well, we will do all of that. Oh, thank God that's over. Now we can finally get back to some proper news. And new host of the show, Rob Mills, joins us now live from Melbourne, where auditions are underway this morning. Andrew, pull yourself together, mate. It's not like I had to watch an episode of 10 News where they ran not one, not two, not three, but four reports about Glee. In that heartbreaking edition, Glee reports made up over a third of Channel 10's news time. Now that's the future of news. And even the ABC's news programs have finally caught on. Thank you, Lee. And I'm speaking to the Minister for Infrastructure and Transport, Anthony Albanese. Oh, Mr Albanese, have you seen the Muffin Man? Yes, Hoot. I think I saw him in a McCafe.